Hasty. I'm I'm Ned Hasty. I'm a uh, deputy sheriff with Sacramento County Sheriff's Department. This is my partner Tyson, and uh, we're assigned out here at the airport division. And our job is to detect explosives. What we do when we come to work is search cargo that's going on domestic aircraft, whether it be containerized or just going up into the into luggage compartments. We uh, will work at the checkpoint and search carry-on baggage that people are carrying through the checkpoint and their and some of their personal items, strollers and that type of thing. Sometimes we search checked baggage that's going into the aircraft. Burritos. Burritos? <laughs> oh, see. He's interested. Yeah. He shouldn't mess around with the food too much. <laughs> we'll work on the curb uh, for vehicles, looking for vehicles that are unattended and if uh, out in front of the terminal, if there's vehicles there, we'll we'll search those, and we'll work and check uh, search vehicles out in the parking lot around the terminals, looking for explosive explosive odor. That's that's what this this dog does. When when I first joined the K9 unit, uh, I had to make a three-year commitment, and that was back in 2002, and I had planned on retiring about 2005 after working with a dog for for three years. Before I knew it, the three years were up, and uh, I realized if I retired, Tyson still would be working he, because he belongs to TSA, and uh, that they would take him back to Lackland Air Force Base, and he would end up with another handler someplace, which would have been good for him because the dog Tyson loves to work. Uh, but I was having so much fun and uh, would have had a hard time uh, letting Tyson, you know, just leaving him, being, letting him go back to Lackland and decided that I would work another three years, figuring that by that time he might be coming to the end of his, his career. Hi, man. I thought I wasn't going to get to see Tyson anymore. Oh, well, here for another, another few days. Another few days. October yep. 3rd, I hear? Yep. October 3rd. That's right. Yep. And then I'm not going to get to see you, big boy. He's going to retire, and Nick's going to retire. So that's what we've done. We've uh, we've worked, and sure enough, he's he's come up with a little bit of arthritis, and it's getting a lot harder for him to work. And uh, I was hoping that we could go till till March uh, and retire then, but that that didn't work. He's uh, I don't think the dog can physically go that far, and the vet has said that he cannot go that far. So that's why we'll get to retire together here so okay. <laughs> he'll, he'll stay pretty active he'll have to go for his walks he's, he's pretty alert he uh, he hopefully will get to retire uh, and uh, he'll be here at home he'll stay with it I'll be able to adopt him <laughs>